Hey guys, it's your girl Amara La Negra and welcome to my closet. I have a few things I want to show you. Come in. Welcome to my closet. This is my performance room. I had to transform one of my rooms because I had so many performing outfits and I have clothes for my dancers and this is like my creative space. So I decided to come up with this room and I am so glad that I have saved, well not all of my outfits, but a lot of my performance outfits. A lot of them that mean a lot to me. For example, this is one of my favorite ones and I have it on this manic and you already know how much I love her. This was actually designed by Valentino Omar. He's a great designer here in Miami. And this actually comes from Love & Hip Hop The Reunion, season two. I wanted to go kind of like a queen, very goddess, very like, look at me, I'm here. And I love this crown, oh my God, it's so heavy. But it looked really, really good on the show. So I have this crown with it. Um, I love this outfit, it definitely made me feel very empowered, very strong. I love the colors, and most definitely you have to have a really big personality to be able to carry this. But, not only that, among so many things that I also have here, oh my god, look at this! This is actually um, from the first season of Love & Hip Hop Miami. My outfit, my performance outfit, um, I did my single Insecure which I love that song by the way and it meant so so much to me so I wore this and I really really love this outfit it really means a lot so anyways I have it in here oh my god I have so many outfits <gasps> oh I remember this one too so I I'm such a show girl like I love the glitz the glam the sparkles the glitter I'm all about the show um, all my outfits are custom and this one has fringes it's super cute. I used this one. Oh my God, where did I use this one at? Oh my God, I don't remember. It was in New York. My designer ended up having to take a flight to New York and um, cause I didn't have my performance outfit ready yet. So he did it on the plane. In the hotel, he was still putting the stones one by one. And then right when it was time for showtime, the zipper wouldn't work. So he had to like sew me in to the actual outfit. It was raining, it was an outdoor concert. It was crazy. The things that artists have to do that you guys don't even know. But this is one of those outfits I'll always remember because it was slightly tragic. Um, oh, talking about love and hip hop, I also have in here my first reunion outfit. I remember I was so nervous, I was panicking. I really, really loved this one for my first reunion. Yeah, I've always thought that maybe eventually at some point I'll recycle it and wear it again. That's another thing. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something about this too. As an artist, sometimes it's really hard to have all these outfits. Do you know how much money is in here? There is so much money in all these outfits that you only wear once. Oh my God, I also remember this. <gasps> this outfit live. So I got to wear this outfit when I hosted the BET experience with Safari. Oh my God, that was so good. So when I did the BET experience with Safari, I had an opportunity to also perform. And I wore this, and if you look really close, it's you see all this stonework one by one by one. It took forever to put all these um, crystals, but it's beautiful and I really, really loved it. My dancers also had, <gasps> I'm gonna show you because you know, okay, I be trying to be bougie and everything. So my dancers, I did something similar for my dancers so that we can match. See, super, super cute. So I have this. And that's another thing I like to do too. Whenever I have performances and things like that, see, I'm all about the shine. Whenever I have performances, I always think about my dancers. Back in the days, I used to be a background dancer and I understand the importance of the show. I always talk about the, the team overall. It's not just about the artist. It's the team, it's every single person that partakes in that experience. And I also 
have my dancers looking bomb. See? One for me, one for them. There's something else in here I wanted to show you. <gasps> Wait, I actually wanted to show you this one. This is my most special crown because this was my first crown ever and I still saved it. I know it's changing colors by now, but it's, it really means a lot to me. So for those that don't know, I started in Sábado Gigante as a child star. Um, I was there for six years every Saturday. It's, very, it's a very well-known show for the Latin community with Don Francisco. And I won this, this show that they, they had called Miss Chiquitica. Oh my God. And I used to dance. I remember my mom prepped me for this so hard. And then I got my first crown. Oh, So I saved this. Hopefully I'll be able to pass it down to my daughter someday. All right, guys, so I already showed you some of my favorite pieces here in my performance closet, but now I want to show you some of my favorite wigs in my salon. All right, now this has to be one of the best ideas I ever came up with, having my own salon here at my house. Not only do I have some of my favorite wigs here, I do my makeup here, I get facials here, massages here, my nails, I get them done here as well. I love this room. So I had an extra space, I didn't know what to do with it, and then I was like, well maybe I should turn it into a gym. And then I said, nah, let me turn it into a salon. I really have fun just trying on different looks, and that's what I think life is about. It's about trying new things. And if you're wondering, well, why would she have a salon in her house? Well, because I got sick of going to the salon and I just felt like all the women there were so nosy, all up in my business. They wanted to know everything that was happening in my life. They were questioning everything. I always had to answer something and I said, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I don't wanna deal with anybody anymore. So now, I just have people come over here. My nail tech comes here. My um, hairstylist comes to my house. I never have to leave. Isn't that perfect? I know. So now I have all my favorite looks, all my favorite wigs here. Obviously, I love my afro. It's my signature look, it's what I feel the most comfortable in. But I understand that as an artist, you have to be able to adapt and change once in a while. So I have some wigs in here, and this baby right here, I actually wore her for the VMAs. I really, really love this wig. I love the color. It's like a dark brown. It feels really, really nice. I also love like natural textured hair, kinky straight or kinky, or I have dreadlocks up there as well. I have different type of hairstyles. So I understand you have to have fun with it and try different things like this one, try some bangs, or this one right here, you know what I'm saying? Or this one, a bob. See, I like to try different colors as well. The honey, the more golden colors. I have a little bit of everything, some ombres as well. This, that's the fun thing about having my own salon. Not only do I do my makeup here and I pay with a whole bunch of different color palettes and try new things, I have the makeup artist, the nail tech, I have everybody just come here and I feel more comfortable here. So, see, that's why you don't see me in the salon because I do all my things on the low low. What do you guys think about my salon? Isn't it cute? I have microwave here, I have snacks. Wine, champagne, a little bit of everything. I got a plasma, I'd be watching movies here as well. So it's pretty nice having your own salon. Now there's one more place I want to show you. Come with me. Well, this is actually one of my favorite pieces outside of my house. It is my Amara La Negra logo, and I love this so, so much. It actually was a gift from my friend Smooth. Shout out to my friend. Um, he gifted me this for Christmas, and every time I come outside my yard, I love being able to see my logo nice and big. And by the way, red is my favorite color. So I love when my friends come. They take pictures next to it, too. It's super, super cute, and I love it. <laughs> All right, so I kind of already showed you some of my favorite pieces here in my performance closet, but I actually want to donate 
this outfit that I wore in one of my performances in New York City. Um, I really, really love this outfit and I want to donate to one of my favorite charities that really, really mean a lot to me. So with that being said, here you go. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed coming into my home and getting to know me a little bit better. I have more secrets and more things I want to show you. Bye.